Good morning. Yesterday was the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, which just happens to be the anniversary of my diaconate ordination. It was 14 years ago, and as of today, I'll say it was 14 years ago and a day, um, that I was ordained a deacon inside St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. It was an incredible, incredible moment to be there uh, with my parents, with my sister, um, with so many brothers from other dioceses that I had been studying with for the previous three plus years, um, on, of course, the journey to the priesthood. But the amazing thing that I will say is, some people might think like diaconate, like, okay, great, that's just a year before you're actually ordained a priest, so what does it really matter? Well, the fact of the matter is for a priest, right, when they're ordained a transitional deacon, when we're ordained deacon is when we make our promise of prayer, of obedience, and celibacy. So the truth of the matter is the point at which a priest actually marries, right? I got my ring here. <clears throat> the point at which a priest marries the church is it's actually at their diaconate ordination. That's the point where it's kind of like, all right, point of no return. Of course, when we're ordained priests, that's where we get to celebrate all the sacraments, um, you know, the Eucharist and confession and do all anointings, these amazing, amazing things. But at our diaconate ordination, is when we make that that promise to say like, yeah, like I'm giving my life to the Lord. I'll never get married. I am I am truly marrying the church. I will say to shout out to all permanent deacons because I don't know if you guys know this, but permanent deacons, right? They can be married, but they actually make a promise that if at any point their spouse ends up passing away, that after that they can't get remarried. Right, so it's it's a huge commitment. So shout out to all deacons. If you're a deacon and you're watching this, thank you. You guys are amazing and thank you for your service. If you're not a deacon, pray for all your deacons. They are incredible, incredible men. So within this, I'm just saying I it was beautiful for me yesterday to be able to pray through wow, 14 years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. 14 years ago, I was ordained a deacon in this incredibly beautiful ceremony. I made these promises. I will tell you, I live these promises, right? But I don't always think about them. And I don't always think about what are my vows? What are my promises that I made? What are really my commitments? And am I committed to my responsibility? I do the best I can, but I don't often think about it. So my question is, what are your responsibilities? What are your vows? What are your commitments? And today, ask the Lord to be with you in those Really reflect on them and ask yourself, how am I living them out? Am I am I giving my all? Am I being faithful to them? Am I doing everything I can to be faithful to my commitments, my responsibilities, <clears throat> my promises, my vows? Know that the Lord gives you the strength to do it. And with his help, rededicate yourself today and enter back into being the best that you can be and being committed to who you are for the Lord. God bless you.